Last time you almost died. And you would have if I hadn't found you. That will never happen again. These people, they're not that different from us. Yes, they've been very good to us, but we have to... You! Up. You need... not me. The same thing that's wrong with you isn't wrong with me. Thompson, tell me how you found this, this character and... and and how you worked with Ben uh, to form this bond that the two of them have. What was so central for me for this, for this performance is the relationship that, I, that Ben and I had together and the chemistry we formed and how, how close we got with each other and how comfortable we were in each other's space. I think that's what really, really did drive the, drive the performance and, kinda, and drive the film and, and make the audience... Um, relate and, and feel empathy and, and, you know, just be engaged, I guess. Um, so, yeah, and I just, I share Tom's love for nature and for animals and her curiosity and her um, wanting to go out and to, to see things and have experiences. So I think that's how I found it. Uh, but what, one of the things that we talked about a lot uh, was... What's going on for Will, which is uh, Ben Foster's character? What's, what's going on inside his head? What makes him want to live in the wilderness? I think with PTS now, there is a wealth of information. It comes from many sources. It comes from the VA itself. It comes from extremely beautiful memoirs that soldiers have provided now the public with, you know, that we can hear extreme detail. And I also had spent time with a veteran in a previous film who informed this film greatly, you know, in some ways, a lot of his anecdotes and, and uh, very precise notes carried forward. Ben had also has also done extensive work in representing, interpreting, portraying vets, combat veterans, and so he came with an endowment. So the the confluence of those things, I think, ha he had a deep understanding of wh why this person was choosing a way of life that he could perform well within, where he could not do in the larger context of of, a, of the cacophonous digital society. Well, tell me about working with Deborah. I mean, the, you know, her, her style on set, she's such a, a spirited person, but what's that like uh, when you're at work? Yeah, it's always weird saying it when you're here. <laughs> embarrass her. <laughs> Go crazy. Yeah, I'm going to embarrass you. Watch oh, out. Gosh. It was amazing. I mean, working with Deborah, it's like you're, I don't know, you're working together and you're, you feel like a unit and a team. And you're just, you know, you're really in it together and having fun and trying things out. And, you, and <laughs> it's funny because when I, whenever I talk with you or get out, go out and get some dinner or do these things, I look at you and there's like, just seems like there's so much going on Aww. on the inside and inside your head. And there's, I don't know, you, yeah, very, I don't know, you're very deep. So it was a really, interesting experience and a really inspiring one too. And we both like process. We, li we both like things that can yeah. be done on screen. I like it from the photography side of things and you like it from the immersion and the yeah. touching. And yeah. so that was a good, that was another good meeting place for us.